And so we begin. This is Joanna from Universal Love and Light Wisdoms. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful day. And we're so happy to connect and entangle with you. We wanted to um, bring forward some topics that we've been discussing and sharing um, about um, the beautiful vibrations um, in alignment with Source Creator um, as we move through ever accelerated frequencies upon our ascending earth within our human collective oneness. And really, truly um, feeling into and honoring and living those sacred vibrations. And the sacred vibrations um, um, really allow you to open within those new consciousness templates that we often talk about, that we are, we are the way showers creating brand new vibrationally. That as we, as we create within those vibrations of sacredness, those are vibrational um, um, paradigms and realities that we step onto into the reality experience. And those vibrations can be truly felt as sacred. That sacred vibration comes from allowing ourselves to perceive a much more expansive um, arena and perspective of who we are, what we exist within and what exists within us, and truly a living and feeling and embracing and, and, and co-creating within the elegance of that vibration of sacredness. So perhaps in, in you know, your, your daily or your weekly um, um, entanglement and your prayer work or your meditation work, feel into the vibration of sacredness. And we've said, um, offered this on many of our radio shows and our offerings. And this is the intimate journey and the intimate experience with you as source, understanding that you are a soul being, a soul essence of vastness, of infinite potential and, and opportunity of sacred exploration. That sacredness is a loving, benevolent, honoring vibration. So to begin to walk in that way and talk in that way and behave in that way, one must reflect upon what that means to oneself in, in everyday moment for moment unfolding. And the true awakening of, of any, any being is the reflection on really what, what have I been walking in and behaving within and what am I really ready to let go of and, and shift into that's new and exciting for me and releasing the old energies of density. And when we say releasing, it's not really being released. It's just the idea and the concept that allows the mind to huh, let go. But the actuality is that it's just transforming that frequency of density into greater frequencies of light. That oscillation, that quotient begins to spiral at a faster oscillation what's physically going on, alchemically going on. So you're ready to shift that molecule of density into one that's brighter light. You're shining it with the love of all that you are. That love is like that beam of acceptance, that beam of, of, of pure, um, pure self-acceptance and pure self-compassion and forgiveness. That that love shifts that fear, shifts that negative belief, shifts that negative paradigm of all that you are have been living within limitation, separation, separateness in thyself, because thyself is thy source, is the all. And allowing yourself to truly vibrate in however way you so choose and visualize in whatever way you so choose to shine the light on what is not working, what is no longer fitting within this reality you want to shift within because you can feel it viscerally. You can kind of feel there's things going on here and I really want to step upon that faster moving platform. How do I do that? You know, there's so much I've got here. What do I leave? What do I leave behind? What is left behind? Is that just how we define it? And really, it's how we define it. And that's why there's there's many that have that even subconscious fear about stepping into that faster vibrating platform that is that new dimensional thread of experience because it's all we've ever known. You know, it's been eons of earth experience and separation. It's been eons of earth experience as humans of being less than or not worthy. And so it's really about that, that um, the enlightenment and the ascension, the ascension um, path, if you will, is allowing all of the shadows and all of the soul aspects that have been held in density through the soul blueprints, the contracts we've come to transcend, not only for us, but for future generations that come after, if you will, in this now concurrent thread. Because anything that you clear helps it and alleviates it for all other generations, it, for the all. 
And so remember all timelines are now. <laughs> so as you shed that belief, as you shed that shadow, as you shed that um, idea of perspective of density, transmuting it by the light you shine on it in love, by the light you shine on it in self-acceptance, self-honor, self-embrace, self-compassion, self-care, self-nurturance, all of those aspects that we've been talking about, the care of the multidimensional bodies, the multidimensional allness, the holism that you are. And every moment that you do that, you begin to feel the sacredness coming to live through you. Because sometimes the words you may have spoke are no longer valid. The how you behaved is no longer valid. You choose to use a higher vibrational dialect. You choose to behave and act in new higher vibrational ways. And they can be baby steps until you feel comfortable because there's many of you that are walking around in circles and vibrations that are really unaware of what awakening and enlightenment is. And there's those old social paradigms of, you know, stepping beyond the new baby step by baby step so that um, you're comfortable with thyself first. But know that those are the illusions that we've all come to transcend. <laughs> I walked through them myself. And those perspectives of that, well, what are they going to think? You know, my kids might think I'm weird. And all of those ideas and those perspectives are those illusions of beliefs. They're part of those beliefs of limitation. Those are just those, those are the thought notions, the thought particles that come from those outdated beliefs. And they're coming back into your field because those beliefs are still there. So when you allow yourself permission, I'm going to release this belief of limitation. Those thought forms go with it. I'm okay with this. And so what if my kids think I'm weird or my family thinks I'm weird or my neighbors hear me doing some toning in the backyard? You know, you release those beliefs because that's that, that, that spotlight that you as source creator, you as the universe, you as the omnipresent, all that is, creator of all life giving yourself permission to love your safe self and be as precious as you are giving yourself permission to be precious give yourself permission to be the the beautiful gorgeous benevolent vibrating aspect of god light that you are and you will feel yourself walk lighter you will feel yourself kind of skip and and glide as you're in 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 um, you're bringing in those those energies of sacredness and you can feel them. They're all chemically shifting within you. You can feel the chakras speed up, you know, and as you're at a rest and you're, you're just sitting just before you fall asleep, you can actually feel the chakras at nighttime preparing for its healing work with your teams as you move off into light ships in your astral play and your team's working on you at just as you're ready to prepare yourself for sleep. You can feel the chakras begin to spin. All that you are is being prepared because you're giving yourself permission to live as sacred and precious. You're intending the cells, you're intending the fields that you are within and are. The fields of consciousness that you are. They interact, they converge, they work together. The unseen quantum energy fields is orchestrating itself based on your intentions and your new perspectives of you. I perceive in this moment of now that I truly desire to feel the sacredness of all that I've been in many of the ancient tribes that I've come here upon planet Earth and within planet Earth. And I understand my oneness with Gaia. I understand my oneness with her consciousness. I understand my oneness and the precious ability I have to co-create in the unseen as I feel into the fluidic consciousness fields, the vibratory fields that I am. My physical body is a field unto itself in the fields that I exist within and the fields that I co-create through my intentions, through my high vibratory thoughts of sacredness, of feeling and, and behaving and acting and living as precious emanations and radiance of God, radiance of source creator, influence of source creator intelligence, influence of source creator light. And as you give yourself these permissions and you begin to perceive and intend I'm going to walk today in my sacredness and I, I'm going to devote and commit myself that as the words are, are tabulated, I'm going to drop to my heart and I'm going to invite source to live through me, the higher soul essence of all that I am to live through me as I open my divine sacred heart and through thought, word, and deed, may I live as the sacred divine being of sacredness, of precious love that I am. And may all that I am come forward to play with all others that are divine and sacred and precious. For it is my highest intent to live as a sacred, precious co-creator within creation. 
and in all of my excitement and in all of my inspirations, I understand that it's, it's a beautiful mechanism of light and love. And it's a beautiful song and it's a beautiful dance and it's a beautiful garden in which we all co-create with one another. And each of our unique gifts and each of our unique offerings are for the benefit and benevolency of all others within that garden. And so as I act upon my excitement, as I live my excitement through all that I am, from the heart center of all that I am, I allow all of creation to also be gifted the preciousness, to be gifted the sacredness. For I'm beginning to feel this very intimate and sacred journey with me, a source, as a soul being. The soul is the embodiment of spirit of all that you are in all things and all realms. You're now calling all of those aspects that have been held in density. You're going to say, I'm going to love you whole. Whatever your beliefs were, we're going to shine such light. We're going to bring you in and we're going to love you. We accept all that we are. There's whole, wholeness. I'm one with the all and the all is one with me. There is no exception. And those beliefs start to soften and those beliefs and that heart space starts to soften. Well, if others perhaps may not accept me, there's parts of me that I'm thinking, I've held this part of me in, in hiding, in camouflage or in the closet, if you will. Because it was so outside what everybody else was doing or thinking or behaving or acting as if. But I'm ready now. I accept that part of me. I, expect, I accept that uniqueness of who I am. Because that uniqueness is exactly what's required here. That uniqueness has been, has been waiting in the wings upon the, the divine eagle that you are, the divine dove that you are, the divine creature of, of flight that you are, so that at the most opportune moment that you're ready to soar and be all that you can be and all that you lifts and raises and spreads and stretches, that you're understanding and you have unconditional trust, that you are supported by the essence of love that you are. Source is supporting you. Source is living. Source is threaded. Source is fluid. Source is liquid. Source is every particle of the all. Within, without, above, below. All systems, all life. You're no exception to this allness. Your breath is the all. Your thoughts your stories, your transformations, the tragedies, the triumphs, all held hand in hand with source. You are never without a supporting cast, ever. You are so preciously held, dear lighted ones. And as you offer yourself forward as sacred, even if for a few moments a day, I choose before my children, before those in my home, before the walls of this home that hold us so sacredly, I open in heartfelt gratitude to this temple, this home, that has held our sacred conversations and our sacred laughter. I open in gratitude and appreciation to these walls and to this kitchen that holds our sacred food and creates such joy and laughter, such busyness, I'm grateful for the floors that support us. I'm grateful for the beds that we sleep in, that hold our precious dreams, the dreams that challenge us to awaken to any aspects that are ready to be brought in and loved and made whole. I'm grateful for the food. I'm grateful for the energies and the vibrations that we have created here. And I'm grateful for the potentials for me to awaken to greater power and greater enlightenment and mastery that I can shift the energies in my space at any point in time, because I am the space. I am source within it all. And with sounds and tones, I can bless this space. I can bless this temple within and without. Temple within, temple without. And the vibrations and the thought forms that have been placed here years and years previous, moments and moments previous, I choose with my highest intention to recreate now in this moment for my consciousness, his master. And the thought forms that have been embedded in the walls and the ceilings and the furniture and the rooms are instantly shifted as the angels from the heavens bless the space, bless 
the intention because you're God particles within the all are interacting as God energy, as God intention, swimming fluidly, melodically, harmonically, within the greater intentions of sacred living and benevolence of the all. Your intentions are fluidically threading with the intentions of source creator. And when those intentions thread together a new weaving, a new template of consciousness is birthed and born. And those intentions of love and laughter and joy and harmony start floating in the melodic frequencies that is already source flowing through the home, flowing through your body, your temple. And you're intending and you're seeing and you're visualizing this beautiful fluid at gold and light flowing in and around and weaving new thought forms of profundity, new thought forms of love, new thought forms of happiness and joy and co-creatorship and sacredness. In this house, in this room, sacredness lives. Joy and laughter, we are one. In this house, in this home, in this temple, love lives. Love is one. And all of the consciousness fields within the all, you are a part of the omnipresence. You begin to intend and call in and invite the frequencies of the highest God light. That God intention, that God frequency, that source creator light that flows in around and through the temple of all that you are. In around and through the temple of your home. In and around and through the temples of your children's rooms and your rooms. So that on every wall and in every corner there is love and there is light new thought forms of potential, new thought forms of sacredness, new thought forms of co-creatorhood. And they mix in and out as the doors and the windows open and you intend out into the forests, you intend out into the grass and the soils and the trees. <laughs> precious sounds and the harmonics and the rhythms and the movement and the intentions of love open thine heart. Fui ai ana na kata ta ai si i nai e ke e ana na a. Fui ai ana ka a te si. Fui ana na kata ai te e te a a. Fui ai na a ka te e a a. Ha i na e ke e na a te ke e te e a na. Ra a ai e te e si ki ana na a ta. masters native energy from inner earth assisting us today and those frequencies of light language and sound hathors 
and forest spirits. Forest spirits allowing me to see the frequencies of the trees that sit behind conduit, the vibrations of sacredness, the vibrations that come forward in invisible threads that you entangle with as you walk by and thread yourself within if you so choose, the vibrational song that each hold, the vibrational wisdoms and intellect that they are a part of the grander song within and without as you are, each and every one of you like little trees, aren't you? Putting your roots in here and there, allowing you to stand with other trees within the forests and the gardens of God's beautiful kingdoms. You each have vibrations and you each offer different leaves and different fruit, different seeds for other creatures and other consciousness to pollinate and shift and move. For don't you see that you're parts of the all within a song within the all? As a holographic as you want to look at it, dear ones, you step outside the box of seeing yourself so small, of seeing yourself so little. Inconsequential, we tell you that. Completely not the case at all. For some of you, have walked around so beaten and bruised, haven't you? And we catch your tears, don't you know? We catch your tears fall into the ground or fall into your clothes it's still threaded within the all for as we see it it's a big weaving and as your tears drop and fall to whatever you think they might fall upon we catch it they're vibrational stories don't you know every tear is a vibrational story it's how you're transmuting what you're left you're leaving yourself into another part of yourself. You're saying, I'm ready to let that memory go. I'm ready to let that version of me go. I'm ready to let that little kind of belief that thought I was small. I'm going to cry it out. It's a way your body has. It's a mechanism. Mechanism of relief. And stories all over the earth making up the oceans and the rivers. And we cleanse and we clear it. For we are creator gods, don't you know? All working together in this harmonic song that you're part of. And now you're awakened to. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, you see. For each of you are coming forward in your glistening glory and your preciousness. Feel okay to call yourself precious and you feel on the ground beneath your feet starting to get a bit wobbly. For it's not as solid as you thought. Is it? It's the fluid story and the fluid song of God. Never really solid unless you want it to be. For you are the master. You say how it is, and it is. Are you, get, are you reckoning that yet? Are you reckoning that? Your voice and your words. And how you might muse upon and ponder the sacredness of how beautiful you are and how shining you are to this earth. And as you do, the earth beneath your feet starts to move and wobble. Starts to move and wobble as you see the conduit's experience in this right now. You see, as she's in her flow of God light, she's feeling the, the ground, the very solid floor that she thinks she's standing on and sitting on. That the solid table is being held up upon is moving beneath her feet. It's given to the presence of God that she is moving. And why those that could understand that mastery could walk on water. You all got the vibration of God within you. And that's a truth. That's not something made up just here. That's a truth. But is it your truth? Is it your truth that you are a song? Is it your truth that you are a part of the soils? Is it a truth that the trees in the, in the yard, in the gardens, in the forests, in the mountains, all that you want to call nature, thinking that you're a part of it, that you're not, that you're not in it. Is it your truth? How can you allow yourself to soften and open and break down the walls and the barricades that you held yourself so tightly behind so that you just soften and open to 
the luxury of God that allows you to be soft and walk through the most solid perspectives of your reality. For that is the profundity of love. And what was solid is your veil ready to come down so that you walk on through it. That small box you held yourself within, you walk on through it. And the lid pops off and the walls pop off because you had declared it sacred. You declared it precious. You declared it one within the all and it's a fluid moving song. And are you? Are you gathering yourself within it? Are you breaking free and saying, I'm ready to be a part of the fluid song? Let me in, Father, let me in. And it's not the Father letting you in just so that you know. We say it in the words that we do so that you can understand because it's your separative mind coming into unity. It's you. It's you allowing yourself permission from the most sacred ancient tribes within the earth. Within the earth that have been singing and calling to you, dear ones. Through the divine sacred heart of Gaia. The tribes of every, every name and every face that you have given upon this earth and upon the lands and the mountains. Every sacred aspect that Gaia is. The tribes sing to you. Sing to you through nature and they sing to you through the songs in the soil. Through the wildlife that crosses your path. So coincidentally, so you think. For it's your separative mind coming into unity that you're one with that nature that just crossed your path. You called it in. Your soul said, I'm ready for a miracle. Here you go. And all the parts of the whole are coming to you, through you, for you. Because you're a part of that love, are you not? Allow yourself the permission to say, I'm a part of that love. I'm a part of that harmonic story. It is so precious. Being offered to me now. From the heavens above and the heavens below. For there is a heaven within that's connecting it all. your free will to make it your truth dear ones and it will shift everything in your reality for you have that birthright a blessing of grace by God not something you have to earn not something you have to think that you have to be worthy of as written by your dogma you are the precious gracious gift of God know your worthiness Know your worthiness. You are all notes within the song. You are the nutrients in the soil, dear ones. May you sing with us. May you soften the heart and open vibrations of God in the heavens, connecting you with all sounds, the sacred floor of Gaia. As all aspects of the omnipresence sing into you and through you. We are
Ko una esia no na kada kada e ano na. Ko e ano na kada kada. He ano na a te te esia no na. Ko e ano na kada te esia te te e te ki ano na. Ha ano na kada te e te ano na. He ano na kada te te. Hui ana na ka ta ta te te ana na ha. Ki te ka na na ha te ana na ha. Hi ana na ka ta te e te e ana na ka e. Sacred Master. Vibrations within the sacred mountains. Releasing the vibrations of oneness within the sacred tribes that are held within the vibrations of sacred mountain. Seeing the um, there's quantum energies going on right now. Downloads, releases. Those beings and consciousness, councils and groups within sacred areas of the earth, are able to come forward. For those that are able to hear the songs within the earth, the consciousness within the earth, and allow their songs to come forward. It's like um, uh, those that are able um, and excited and why toning and sound and frequencies will be so um, key for the evolution of uh, higher dimensional sacred living of earth. Um, I just see like a really thin vibrational veil that sound and tone and intention um, that just kind of pops a little hole in so that that sacred song can come out and intermingle with your new consciousness now. So it's like sacred tribes now weaving and helping template and consciousness interaction and co-creation with those sacred songs and to tones and sounds and sacred language. That's what I saw. This native elderly speaking on behalf of the group that is responsible for that sacred mountain. You are understanding now that you are co creating as a human tribe with. There are multi-dimensional groups that are coming forward, celebrating with you in these beautiful times of sacred templating, gardens of love. Vibrational masters. Cosmic threading. All the encodings of God's will, Source Creator's will.
right in together. In human joy. It's belonging. It's a sacred gift. It's preciousness. Sacred contribution. You are imparting your ways as a new tribe, are you not? Or you will be the ones in the mountains with us. As you thread your consciousness in song and sound and joy and play with Gaia and nature and wildlife. Your song and your offering threads with us and we weave it anew. song of creation continues. You're the precious gifts. Creator. Thank you, Carol, everyone. And there's so much energy coming through me. <clears throat> there's still downloads and vibrations coming through me. So I'm just going to let them flow. <laughs> there's work that's um, quantum work that's going on. And why I take the long pauses that I do, because there's such an profound, immense energy that's moving through me. Um, and I understand it's coding and it's light and it's beautiful vibrations of love. Playing in the garden, thank you, Divine Source Creator. Source Creator, the Father, the Mother. How do you like playing in the garden of love, dear ones, dear children? So loved, precious children. As any parent would say, precious children, play, be of joy. Release your worries and soften into love. Release your worries, know that you are love. Your precious little sparkles. Seeds of love. Play in the gardens of love. Source creator energy is so giving. Most unconditional and generous energy that one could imagine, even not imagine. It just brings you to your knees. And that's the softening. That's the sacredness. That's the preciousness. That is the intimate journey the soul essence, the opening in source, the allowing of source, the acceptance of source, and giving yourself permission to release and transmute through this love, through this preciousness.
I understand the healing that many of you are offering forward. And know my precious children that you are held sacredly in our arms. You are loved like the newborns every day. Every moment. You are precious, my children. You are worthy of this grace. Thank you, dear lighter ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Holy Mother, Father, Source Creator, and all of the beautiful councils and the elders um, working in the mountains and the sacred Gaia spaces. Um, so blessed and so honored, thank you. That's so beautiful. <laughs> And we wanted to, um, one of our offerings last week was about the sacred four and the sacred four that I've been finding out in through the spiral of moment for moment living and that spiral of what we call life, <laughs> you know, what we think is linear, but it's not. It's the spiral of moment for moment now, opening up into these higher vibrational, you know, consciousness templates um, that the guides were talking about and the councils were talking about. And it becomes that ever narrow path of sacredness and, and behaving and, and creating those energies of um, sacredness. And um, how we move into those vibrations of sacredness is your, your the, you know, the daily meditations and the daily intentions that we set to use words that are more sacred and higher vibrational to the foods that we intake and the, how we walk about our home and intending our home and loving our home and being grateful for our home in and our temple within and the home that we have the walls and the windows and as you wash the windows intend new thought forms and intend new songs of love and play because everything is is liquid energy and it's just we're experiencing it um, and intending it as physical right now but we're manipulating and manifesting this new reality of consciousness that's very fluid and liquid that they were explaining to me that when you're in that vibration you can feel i was actually literally feeling the floor move as if it was um a vibrational wave um, of water but it wasn't water it was energy uh, which is a which is you know energy water is energy but um, it felt like um like a bed that's what it felt like a bed and you could you know you could walk on it but it was very you know it was like a moving that's how my that's how the floor felt and we've got wood floors so <laughs> it was um, incredible and i felt that before when i was um, in the bathroom one day getting ready and I was feeling the floor beneath me move as I was just, you know, in that, you know, consciousness state of allowance, of source allowance living through me. And those are those really profound moments of sacredness. And it's through your intentions and allowing all source to live through me and, and truly open up my heart and live from that heart center, heart centeredness. Um, and the vibrations of the sacred four and how you move into those areas of of refining your frequency and your behavior and mastery because mastery is really refining moment for moment for moment that centeredness and choosing higher vibrational thoughts choosing higher vibrational actions choosing observed observation and all of those things that allow you to choose from a more refined state of purity and that purity is your unconditional presence and love of who you are that source creator that you are and being in presence of that unconditional love which is source and as I see every vibrational platform step up, it comes with the sacred four and you're stepping into new platforms of experience. And it requires number one, divine integrity. So you're stepping up into a new level of divine integrity. So you'll pull in, your soul will call in those experiences of um, um, manifestation so that you'll allow yourself to um, test and, and live with higher vibrational integrity you know 
um, your choices and how you choose and, and, and the benefit of the all and the greater good of the all and using your power and benevolence and so on and so forth. So that's your integrity, you know, living within that integrity of pure love, unconditional love, sacred living. All life is sacred. And that's based on, that integrity is always based on your truths. And that moves how you open up in self-love. Your truths will change, you know. But there's always those core truths. You know, I choose to express and share my excitement of source, my excitement of Gaia. You know, those are my truths. Those are things that I must do to feel a soulful, um, you know, a fulfilling soulful life. And I know that about myself because I've spent so many years, you know, in that that game of, of you know finding and seeking um you know and not finding <laughs> because i've suppressed it or um denied it you know and that's all the, that's all the path work the intimate path work the journey that is the soul and it comes from your values and your values are changing as you change setting your boundaries you know what was okay a year ago and two months ago six months ago is maybe not okay with you anymore and those are your values you know the value system of who you are is a sacred precious being and those begin to build inner knowing and inner strength. And that's when you really get to that point of walking in your light. You know, regardless of what's happening around you, you're holding that light. And that's practiced. You know, I, perhaps it's been, I mean, I'm sure it has been experienced that way. And we have moments of that. But in my experience, <laughs> you know, I'm one, to, I'm one to go on the path that really takes you back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because then I'm able to teach. And those that, um, you know, those that come to me as clients, I can understand a vaster array of the path because I've gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I've, I've been the path. But you'll have moments of those awakening where you just have that inner truth and you know it. But because of where we've come from, collectively, as a human collective, as a planetary collective, as a multiverse galactic collective, because these energies of separation do not only stem from the earth frequencies, they come from our galactic lives because we're soul beings now. We're living as soul beings. That soul comes from all dimensions, all planetary. And so um, um, those frequencies of um, divine inner knowing are, are built and practiced. And so that's one thing that we really wanted to, to let people know is that don't, Allow yourself the okay to know that um, you don't necessarily have to have it all figured out um, and, and think that your divine inner knowing has to happen overnight because it's usually not the case. You've got to practice at it. Um, and it's something that's, that's really practiced. And you've got to give yourself that leeway and you've got to give yourself that permission. Um, and the other one, And the other one is, um, and you're building those, those morals and those sacred truths and those sacred strengths. You're building them through your practice. And these are what the relationships are going to play such an important role because those that you've chosen in your relationships and your family and your friends and your schools and all of those things, they're how you practice. You practice your higher truths. You practice the higher integrity. You practice the higher moral strength. And so allow yourself and give yourself permission to know that, well, it didn't work a few minutes ago, but I can try again. So you're always shifting in this now moment to a new choice. That choice now is going to take you to that new vibration. And it's that constant weaving of back and forth. It's never that straight up pathway. It's never that straight up um, idea that, oh, we're just ascended. You know, it's that constant interweaving and working of the vibrational um, path, you know, and you've got to practice it. Because as you're changing and threading, so too are their truths and their, their ideals and their values and, and soul systems. You know, this is why it's such a profound time to be on this planet because each and every one of us are going through our own, our own path work to find out what really fits for us. What are our truths? How do we live up to the highest, the highest and most creative and most loving and sacred being that we can be as precious humans? So allow yourself the permission to be okay and let go of the... Let go of the um, you know, pressure, really a lot of pressure. I put a lot of pressure on myself to having to get it right. But what getting it right is only, getting it right is only about um, your, the ego <laughs> ideal. You know, it's not soulful. You know, there's, 
there's none of the heavenly teams and councils that say, you know, you've got to get it right within 10 minutes or not kind of thing. That's, those are our ideals. Those are our human ego issues that we need to let go and heal. But the part of the sacred four is first this new vibrational platform you're stepping up you'll test yourself on higher integrity divine integrity so every spiral of time every new spiral of awakening moment for moment hour for hour day for day if you want to look at it that way you're allowing yourself a higher vibrational ideal of integrity who you are at the soul level when we say integrity at the soul level it's who you are as source you know everything from the soul that you live from here as often as you can, allow yourself that opening and fluidity of moving and living from here. Does this feel right for me here, taking a job or, you know, maybe going out to a new club or a meeting with new people? Does it feel right from here, you know? And allow yourself to feel into those, you know, moments of inner trust and inner guidance. And every new moment of now brings you those new moments of, well, what's my integrity now, you know? You know? It doesn't feel right anymore. I'm, I'm going to go this way now because you're being led from here and you can feel it. It's like a pull. You'll feel that pull. And the next one is discernment. And your discernment is your ability to perceive information and energies that are now opening up as the soul opens up. You're able to sense galactic timelines. You're able to sense galactic beings. You're able to sense Gaia. You're able to sense all of these different energies and how you discern that energy and how you work with that energy comes hand in hand with you and your integrity. What are your values? Because those values help build that discernment that helps you move in fluid, um, in fluid co-creation with those energies you want to co-create with. And, and it's a process of learning and it's practice. It is, it just is. Um, because this is life, we're living life. And you're busy, we're, we're shifting from you know, old world reality to new world reality, which we thought we had to be so busy doing, 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 doing. We never took the time to understand discernment and how important it is. Because when you're not in your integrity and you're not in discernment, your world feels chaotic. It just does. Because you're being touched and you're being threaded with everything else. And you're not leaving time for that centeredness, self-care. And this is why integrity and discernment go hand in hand so that you're setting the vibrational field, you're setting the vibrational boundaries, you're allowing yourself to know and stand in your truth. These are my values. I speak them, I walk them, I co create within them, and I'm going to behave in this way now. And it's practice, it really, really is. And allow yourself the permission to, to be okay practicing and playing. Um, allowing yourself to say, uh, this is my vibrational field now. I'm going to be fluid. I'm moving and I can sense things. I'm opening up in every way. Because when you open your galactic field within your auric energies and your axial lines, the galactic energies, you will feel them and you will feel some days as if you're on a psychic overload because you can sense so much all at once. And this is where setting your boundaries and having the sacred four that you work with every day, my divine integrity, my divine discernment. How does that feel for me? Am I discerning energies? What does that feel like? And where is that coming from? Because it could be from a belief. So if you're fearful of something, that will start to pull in those fearful energies and discern that. That doesn't belong to me anymore. I shift and off you go into a new vibration. So it's really important that those sacred four um, begin to work with you every day as you begin to feel yourself out opening and awakening and expanding as this soul essence song as with source creator. Because you're still releasing and letting go of all of those, transmuting, if you will, through the light of your love, through the light of your compassion and forgiveness and acceptance. You're shining the light and transmuting those denser energies. But while you're doing that, there's going to be those shifts and those feeling about um, of everything we're awakening into, of all that we are as a soul, you know, and it's, and it's vibrational and it can be felt and sensed and you're dreaming and feeling and all of these things that go on in everyday life. Because it's not just you in your everyday life. There's everybody you're entangled with. That's unity consciousness. Whether you think that you're just by yourself in your home, you're actually threading with all everybody in the collective. And there's collective releases of karmic energy. There's planetary releases of karmic energy. And as we transmute and, and shift them alchemically through that spotlight of love, um, that's how we're moving through these things. But that's why I've created kind of that, that sacred four. And so divine integrity is one. And that's that divine integrity comes from who are you at the soul level? What are your values? What are your truths? What are your moral, what are your moral standards? You know, your inner strength. And practicing, if you practice those divine integrity, truths and values and morals and all those things, that becomes your divine inner knowing. 
It's your inner knowing and it's unwavering. It's always centered. <laughs> that allows you to stand in your light. And then it leads up to the defined discernment. And that defined discernment is you're allowing, now that you've got that inner truth, that inner integrity, you can sense those energies that are coming in or from others that you're threading with. And you can hold your energetic and your auric boundaries. So you're not being affected, you know, by the swimming energies and fluxes that are absolutely going on. <laughs> Um, so that's the discernment is about receiving information and what are you going to entangle in and that wise discernment is so important because those are those next level of vibrational platforms that you're you're readying yourself and you're showing creation you're showing source you're showing the heavens and all the groups and councils that we're threading with on these energetic ascension levels that you're ready you know it's like we said in our recording this week is that the ego how the ego is shifting and changes like it's been this um un guided energy that's just meant to keep you safe and it's just been scattering and overworked and overused trying to keep you safe because that's been the energy of old world earth well now that it's in this higher vibrational energy it kind of has no idea what to do and it's exhausted and it's getting burnt out and so what's really important now is to harmonize the divine mind where the ego exists and and have it have it really um, enveloped and loved and and brought in complete harmony with the soul of all that you are. So it feels as one. It feels loved. It feels honored and respected and whole, and allowing it to understand through those loving commandments that you can sit back and rest now because the divine sacredness of who I am is in charge. I'm driving this ship now. You can relax. All is well. That's your unconditional trust which comes to number three, which is your divine compassion and divine love, and it's unconditional. So when you allow yourself to hold everything that's moving in your everyday life with divine compassion and unconditional love, you're brought to new sacred levels of that next vibrational platform. Um, and that's why integrity and discernment is needed, you know, so that you do open up into these higher dimensional platforms of compassion and love, which open up those energetic majesties that, gift, that are gifted through Source Creator your healing skills, your sounding skills, your tonal skills, your creating from thought skills and all of those things. So these are the hierarchies that we've been talking about over the years. And the last one is the creative sacred play, the divine creative sacred play. And those are how you're using your gifts, you know, because it's, it's part of those four, those four sacred four is how evolution continues and how you evolve as a soul being, as a soul essence. It's how you continue to keep using your gifts and your skills. But to use your gifts and your skills, it's important that we create the integrity and the discernment within us so that we're moving out and co-creating in the highest benevolent sacred ways that are true to who we are as souls now. You know, again, that, that idea of self-empowerment, what is real self-power? It's to use it for the greater good of all and it's always soft. It's purely aligned with source. It's used in compassion and grace. It's used in the divine unfolding of created sacred play of the innocent child. So all of those are our energies and vibrations that we that we practice with our discern with our discernment and our integrity. I want to use my power today as you and source in the center of the all. And you can pull in any vibration that you want to experience in that day, whether it be integrity, whether it be power, whether it be compassion, whatever it is that you want to experience. That, that's how you practice your mastery. Is today I'm I've been having these issues about my own power and standing in it or standing in my light. I want to I want to explore this today. And that's where you practice. And that's how mastery is earned and built and, and established so that you do have that. I know what that feels like now. Yes. And it's changing and shifting. But these are just the four, the four basic um, vibrations that I've been sensing on my path that is really important to allow you to know that you're stepping up to these new ever heightened platforms of consciousness. And they do require us to act and behave in unified universal ways in which we are choosing to give ourselves permission to be as source with divine integrity that all life is sacred with divine um, um, value systems and honoring of sacred life and moving fluidly and joyfully and playfully in this way, using our discernment, what feels good and what doesn't feel good. Knowing that we have the gifts and the skills available to us at every level, regardless of what we think or what we see in front of us, because those are based on old world, smaller, separative definitions, but we can choose to shift and come into something new and profound and divine and you know blessed 
if we so choose, it's always free will. Um, but those are the divine sacred four that I was talking about last um, video that I thought I'd bring forward. And it allows us to truly feel and um, enter into the musing this week, if you so desire, about the vibration of preciousness and what does that vibration of precious feel like? Um, and that's the vibration that Source Creator was showing us at the end of our offering, was that we truly are all precious um, seeds of Source, seeds of creation, seeds of love. And so how does precious feel for you? And what is it? what do the vibrations feel into? Because these are things that um, when we talk about vibrations, these are the alchemic shifts that you feel inside that really soften the heart. So when we say feel into it, that usually means you're going to let down the walls that we've built around the heart area to be safe, to be kept safe, to not be, not be judged or not be ridiculed or whatever it might have been that those walls that we've kept up. Softening means that we're releasing those walls one by one. And you're allowing all that you are to live from here. And you're living within your integrity. You're living within your new value system of who you are as spirit, as a sacred spirit, a precious spirit. That you're living within the idea that you do have the power to discern what is good for you and what is not good for you. And you can send it on its way, you know, if it doesn't feel right. Where you have the tools within you to say, I choose to love myself now and I'm going to bring it in and make this whole. And I'm going to live within my compassion and love because I understand that that transmutes all things. And I'm remembering myself as pure compassion and pure precious love as the creator and the creative play that allows me to continue exploring who I am, to continue expressing who I am, to continue being in my Christhood and feeling these new vibratory energies and songs that is offered in all moments, all moments, all moments, all moments, without question, without doubt, a new vibration of Christic offering, a new vibration of source offering for you to play within and gather and, and, and co-create, you know, sacredly and playfully and joyfully as the innocent child that you are. And that's just evolution. That's how we evolve. That's how Gaia desires us to get entangled and to evolve. And that's why the various beings and consciousness came in from the, the different mountains and the sacred energies. Because they're letting us know that we need your song so that we can come through and create with you. And there's certain tonal vibrations that break the veil. Um, and there's certain act, sacred play, whether it's mudras or whether it's light language and movement that break those, um, that just pop that little that little um, barrier of belief um, and, and just let that sound come out so that they, their song that has always been playing, but has been unable to be heard because our consciousness level wasn't high enough. So that's why as each of us plays, as each of us offers, as each of us sings and tones and just plays in our sacred God essence, that all is well and all will be, all will be delivered <laughs> moment for moment that you trust in that. You know, your next song will come to you as you sing Hope in Your Mouth. You know, because that's your unconditional trust, your unconditional love of who you are to play creatively. Um, so I hope that's helped. And thank you for tuning in and connecting with us at the Diamond Heart Sanctuary and the beautiful Gaia energy that was out front. Um, and in that one experience that we had earlier, it was that tree out there that was that one right there that was coming through with its vibration. And then a native energy came up from the earth to um, explain what that tree was. I'm giving you visualizations, um, the various threadings that that tree had. Um, so that was beautiful. And it was allowing itself to be known as sacred as well. So thank you, Gaia. <laughs> and thank you, all of the beautiful energies and our teams and our healing teams. So be sure to get lots of water and lots of rest and play with Gaia. There's so much opportunity to get out and be one with Gaia um, and all of the nature that she offers. And so we thank you and we're sending our greatest and most divine love and gratitude. Oh, beautiful, huge butterfly just flew by. It was really huge. It felt that big. Um, so I'm going to see if I can go find it and play. Bye!